So in this patient, I am giving sacral plexus block and swast compartment block. My own technique, I will describe the landmark of my own technique. I have palpated and marked the posterior eye spine and I have palpated the top of the iliac crust and the point of entry for the swast compartment is the top of the parabola. This is the parabola here. So put the thumb here and the index at the top of the iliac crust. So in between the top of the parabola, this is the top of this parabola. So here I have marked the circle and from this point I will block the swast compartment and landmark for the, the sacral plexus it is about I have drawn a line from the outer margin of the posterior eye spine and this point is about three finger base below the below the posterior eye spine and from here I will direct the needle down and out down and out and here the direction of the needle is about 15 degree medially okay and I will inject about 20-25 ml in each compartment. So now I am taking 30 gauge and this 20 gauge is my needle here and I have taken the air in it. So this is the air in it and from this point I will insert the needle and the needle after piercing the needle I have already infiltrated 1 ml of the solution. So the direction of the needle not straight forward but this is tip is down and out and here insert the needle you will have two gibbe feelings. This last gibbe, the second gibbe feeling is the point of insertion of the, the point of uh, means the exact location of the. So now this is the point here, you can advance a little further, raise strength and further advance and now it's going to be. So this is the second gibbe feeling, here you inject 20 ml of the solution after aspiration. So this will block the sacral plexus. So the fluid is clear, inject here. Rotate this range, inject here, aspirate and then inject, again rotate, aspirate and inject. So I have completed nearly the sacral plexus block, this will block the sacral component of lumbosacral plexus and I have completed the block in the air in 5 months range. From this entry point which has been already anesthetized, insert the needle in a down in a 15 degree middle direction. Right? Insert the needle, it will go, then check the resistance. Now the resistance is there. Further move, move, move. This first will be no. And look for this resistance again. Now Yes, this is the last gibbe. Here, this is basically a lumbar plexus block. So inject here, rotate, aspirate, inject, rotate, aspirate and inject. Aspirate and then inject. This is the swath compartment block. And if I remove, there will be a regurgitation of the fluid. Right?